Jason Anderson here with AXTV. I got my girl Taylor Dressler and Kyle Thompson. Um, what a race we had here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee tonight. Yeah, it was it was an awesome night of racing for sure. Man, I'll tell you what, stacked classes all the way around. We had three heat races in some classes. It was so stacked. Some classes we had almost 30 riders in. How crazy is that? Yeah, there was definitely a big turnout for this event. Um, a lot of fans came out. There was a line around the door, actually. All right, I'm going to chat with Kyle Thompson here, motocross trainer extraordinaire. All right, Kyle, tell us what it takes these days to actually train professional motocross riders. Well, it's, uh, it's a lot of work. It's not just, uh, just the training part, but being a privateer, uh, like my brother Cole, who I work with, uh, you know, it's a lot of travel, um, a lot of time spent on the road, so it's very difficult to find a good training schedule that's consistent because you're always in different spots. You always got to readjust to the weather, and, you know, we're home in Canada, and it's snowing. So we're going to the gym or running outside in the cold and the snow. And then we come back down and we got to find a super cross track to ride at. Um, you know what I mean? And then we got to adjust to that facility and, you know, just get our running in, our road biking, you know, get our dieting in. You know, it's all about nutrition and just being consistent with the work. And it's a, it's definitely, it's a chore. You know, being a privateer is a, you know, it's a, it's a tough, tough gig. Most definitely. I'll tell you what, at one of the rounds, you know, I showed up a little early. And I noticed Cole was running laps around the arena and whatnot. So that's kind of what you mean about training on the road, because you're, you're in a motorhome going city to city racing. So during the week, you're trying to train at different facilities and whatnot. And the guy's actually literally just using what he can, stairs and whatnot, at, at, like the arenas. Yeah, exactly. We, uh, wherever we go, we just try to use uh, what's given to us. Uh, and if it's a, a staircase in an arena, so be it. Um, we have a lot of equipment that we bring with us, uh, just small stuff, you know, kettlebells and uh, battling ropes and TRX, uh, just stuff that we can do, hook up to anything. And uh, obviously, a pair of runners is kind of our main key, you know, you can run anywhere. Definitely. Gnarly stuff going on. But I tell you, I see you hammer these guys all the time, because you got more than one guy you train, about nutrition. How big of a role does what you take into your body play to actually be a professional motocross rider? Yeah, it definitely uh, plays the biggest role, um, you know, especially the, the amount uh, of work you put into it. You need the energy to you know, to put that work in. And if you're not eating the right stuff, you're just going to burn out and you're just not going to get your body to the full maximum ability while you're working out. So that's what we strive on. So it's really like a balance of, of actually working out the right things, eating the right things, and then actually getting seat time on the motorcycle to be successful in this industry. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, that's, that's the biggest thing is if finding the track and especially with the weather, you know, you get, uh, you get to a track, they're all outdoors. So you got you to gotta be there and when it's sunny, you got to be on that bike, and uh, you know then you, you put your laps in, you get your testing laps in, and then as soon as you're off the bike, you're back to training. And by the time that's done, it's dark. You eat dinner, you go to bed, and you wake up, do it again. So it's it's way beyond actually just you know lifting barbells, eating a salad here and there. I mean it's it's doing motos, suspension settings, yeah. tires, blah blah blah. Lots of things go on to actually make these guys get to where they need to be and actually be able to compete at the highest level of, of motocross racing. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of work. It's like a team effort uh, and trying to like time everything, trying to organize parts and his bikes and having them there on time, his suspension setup, motor, and then on top of that doing the training and the test laps and it's just a lot of work and then getting to the arena crosses and then we go to supercross and outdoors. It's just a consistent battle with time and uh, yeah, it takes a lot out of a family and a team for sure to do that. All right, well, you mentioned Supercross. That's coming up. You're going to start the East Coast rounds, right, in the Supercross series. Let's talk a little bit about the preparation that you've done personally with Cole to get ready for round number one of the East Coast. Well, right now, uh, it's just getting his bikes ready. Obviously, he's been riding. He's been training. So we're, we're hopefully going to have, like, February 16th Dallas. He's going to be peak condition to you know be a top five guy that's what his, his goal is this year top 10 obvious but he wants to be in that top five and uh so we just we have to have, make sure everything's in a row like all our ducks are in a row that we get there and it, there's no question that he's ready bikes ready everything's good to go and he can do that 
A lot of determination coming out of the Thompson Field, man. Seems like y'all are really ready to go. Glad you spent the time with us here on AXTV. Taylor Dressler, appreciate you coming out. Jason Anderson signing off from Murfreesboro, AXTV. I'm Taylor Dressler here with Joshua Cartwright of AXTV, and um, we're going to talk to him a little bit about the round here in Murfreesboro. And uh, you're actually from Memphis, right? Yeah, Memphis, Tennessee. All right, and um, you raced the round in Memphis, and how did you finish up there? I won all my classes. I won youth, open outlaw, 250B, and 450B, perfect motos every time. That's awesome. And uh, you actually you race Loretta's as well, don't you? Yes, this year I went to Loretta's in school by one and got an eighth overall, and my, and my best finish was a fourth place in the moto. That's awesome. Um, what do you think about the track design here tonight that Cole Thompson did? Cole did a lot different track today. He made him a little bit more super crossy. Uh, that's how he likes it. So I really love the track. I like the steep triples and the jump on, jump off. It's going to be technical tonight. It's going to be some good racing. Tonight here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee for round 7 of the 2012-2013 Arena Cross Tour Series, Cole Thompson was able to win his 7th consecutive Clash for Cash moto. He was followed by the number 140 of Johnny Moore who was able to grab the whole shot at the beginning of the moto. Number 3 would go to Mason Eck. Donald Alford would finish in fourth, and Alex Freeman from right here in Tennessee would round out the top five.